Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tribal Electric Tuesdays, where we dive into the technique of separating botanical particles using static electricity. If you're curious about this topic, keep watching. Before we continue on our journey to create a device, let's step back and discuss the conditions required to make the process work. Today we'll be discussing the effects of temperature on particle separation. Specifically, we'll be exploring how temperature affects the charge distribution and behavior of particles in a static electric field. But first, let's briefly review how static electricity can be used to separate particles. When two materials come into contact and then separate, a static charge can be generated on their surfaces. By applying an electric field, particles with opposite charges can be attracted to each other, while particles with the same charge will repel each other. Temperature can affect particle behavior in many ways, and its effects can vary depending on the type of particle and the conditions of the electric field. One effect of temperature on particle separation is the distribution of charges on the particles. At higher temperatures, the charge distribution on particles can become more uneven. This can cause particles to have a weaker overall charge or have areas of the particle with the same charge. As a result, particles may not separate as effectively when placed in an electric field. Just as important in our application, high temperature may lead to heads melting or becoming sticky. This critical temperature will vary from plant to plant and trichome chemical composition and even maturity and age of the trichome. However, knowing that heat can be a good thing is an important point to keep in mind. Those familiar with static hand sifting understand that particles can separate at relatively warm temperatures. On the other hand, lower temperatures can cause particles to have a more even charge distribution, which can make them more effective at separating when placed in an electric field. Another effect of temperature on particle separation is the mobility of the particles. At higher temperatures, particles tend to have more energy and move more rapidly. This can make it more difficult to apply an electric field to them as the field may not be strong enough to overcome their movements. Conversely, at lower temperatures, particles tend to have less energy and move more slowly. This can make them more susceptible to the effects of an electric field, and they may be more easily separated as a result. Literature broadly discusses temperature and electrostatic separation as a fundamental variable, but typically tests are conducted at room temperature. This is likely due to the type of particles separated, typically minerals or plastics. For botanical applications, we found that temperatures below 50 Fahrenheit were the general rule of thumb for particles to charge and thus separate. This will come as no surprise to those who sift. What isn't described in the papers we read, yet it's expected, is how particles react in freezing temperatures. Particles are not only impossible to charge when frozen, but completely lose all charge. The particle's normal charge returns as the particle warms. Though this was expected, it was nonetheless fascinating to record this data. Overall, the effects of temperature on particle separation using static electricity can be complex and depend on many factors. Some particles may be more sensitive to temperature changes than others, and the conditions of the electric field may also play a role. If you look back to episode 3, Temperature plays a role since we can freeze particles to both prevent from sticking together while becoming brittle to promote decapitation. All this happens without clumping since particles cannot hold a charge at ultra low temperatures. Once we're ready to try both charge a particle, we raise the temperature. Nailing this sweet spot is how we achieve 5000 volts of electrical charge. In conclusion, temperature can have a significant impact on particle separation using static electricity. Understanding the effects of temperature on particle behavior can help us optimize the particle separation process for maximum efficiency. If our particle is too warm, it melts. If the particle is too cold, it doesn't hold a charge. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. If you found this video entertaining and you learned something today, please consider supporting us by clicking this button here. Much appreciated.